So this is just an example of an acute stress response. The woman here sees a snake and she's afraid. So two things happen. There's a very fast response that's a direct nerve single that goes to the adrenal medulla, which is the outer port portion of the adrenal gland there. This produces epinephrine, or otherwise known as adrenaline, which has the effect of increasing the heart rate, breathing rate, and blood sugar. This is what would make you feel shaky, like I said, if, if you were in a, a frightening experience or a car accident. Now there's a slower response. It's a hormone that's produced by the brain called ACTH that goes to the adrenal cortex, which is that inner yellow section, and that produces cortisol. Now cortisol's primary job is to relieve, release blood sugar from the liver. And these two things have the effect for the woman seeing the snake to either run really well or fight really well. If she has to run from the snake or fight the snake, all of these things, the increased heart rate, breathing rate, blood sugar, all contributes to her ability to run and maintain her ability to run or fight really well if she has to. Okay, so digestion shuts off, blood goes to the muscles so that she can either run or fight. And that's why it's called the fight or flight syndrome. And that's a very common acute stress response. Now this uh, system worked very well for us and served us well in uh, Paleolithic times with uh, cavemen and cave women, but in today's modern